Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with IRAC Veteran 8888. Today I've got a very special video for you. I've got my friend David here from Casa de Pesca. Great YouTube channel. If you have not seen his content, you have got to check him out. This man here makes some of the best hunting videos on the internet. They are fantastic. They look like they're filmed by a wildlife photographer. <laughs> they are amazing. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for having me. Dude, so we've got the new 35 cal uh, FX Impact Mark II, and we're gonna be doing some deer hunting. Now we've already been in the woods a little bit here, and we've had a great experience, and I have been so impressed with this setup. We've got a moderator on it. Uh, we've got a really hot valve in this thing, new plenum, so it's making some great power. But the 35 cal is a departure from the normal FX that you might expect to see. I know for a long time, really, we're not wanting to go above a 30 cal. Getting into the 35 is approaching that big bore territory, um, but you're not losing the accuracy and quality that you come to expect and the precision of an FX product. Uh, you're just getting a little bit more power, going from a skirted pellet uh, to more of a solid, uh, getting much better, you know, flatter trajectory, really good accuracy, uh, pushing some serious air, getting good power. Uh, we've got this one topped off with an Element Nexus, and uh, this particular scope was designed with input from Ted's Holdover, uh, you know, Matt, all those guys. So we've got, a, we've got some really cool footage that you're going to be seeing in this video. So Absolutely. how do you approach the 35? What, what have you shot with the 35 other than a deer so far? I will shoot uh, hogs mainly, especially in Florida where I live now. I would go for hogs. Uh, coyote is not a problem with this. I mean, oh, yeah. I can drop. Uh, actually, with the 30 cal, I've been shooting coyotes my, for a long time, and I'm dropping them on on the spot. So I think 30 cal. I mean, 35 is is just way on top of that. I mean, that's for hogs and uh, deer. Yeah, just big game. Actually, yeah, you don't want to be shooting squirrels with this thing. It's just kind of big yeah it's getting on up there in the power yeah do so you right. think that air gun hunting is probably getting a lot more normalized for you know general society you know more people are getting into the idea of hunting larger and larger animals with air guns absolutely this is just growing i mean i've seen i i spent a lot of time on on social media and stuff uh and i know i can tell you uh, this is growing like crazy i mean it's it's just growing fantastic uh the thing is uh uh since I'm directing my channel now to air guns on mostly, I mean, I will say 80% air guns, uh, a lot of people is going crazy with uh, what I've done with this air gun. So uh, people is kind of uh, uh, looking at uh, different ways uh, for uh, how quiet they are, uh, how accurate, uh, how light way they are, because they're very light and how many shots you can do with uh, one single fill. I mean, it's just too many points you have to look at it. So yeah, people's going crazy with this thing. I'm, I'm sure, that, yeah. All right, so other night, it was the first night we were over here at the farm. We decided, you know what? We're gonna try to go sit in a stand, see if we can maybe get a deer to come in. And it's been a great year so far. We've seen a lot of deer movement. The deer are going crazy. They're all over the place. And yes, the bucks are chasing. You're gonna see in a moment here. Okay, so this first evening got settled in. We're really excited, really hopeful that something's gonna come in. So, all right, we had this doe come in and we, we waited and we waited and we waited and she finally got within shooting range. And how do you feel about that shot? <laughs> wow. That's well, I'm, uh, I was 100% sure I was going to drop that, that doe on the spot. But the thing is, uh, uh, some people might think that this thing is not capable of dropping that doe at 100 yards. It's, it's, just, uh, uh, it's just, I waited because I really want to make sure to, to do a humane shot as possible, right? So that, that was the idea. But uh, I can easily shoot that doe at 100 yards, no problem with this thing. And I can drop them on the spot. So, uh, yeah, I just waited the whole time till she got, a, what, 47 yards? 47 I, yards. <laughs> 47 yards. Yeah. So that was a very easy shot. And, uh, yeah, we got it. We got it done. I mean, it couldn't be any perfect. All right, that. so we're about to see you turn into a cheeseburger. So let's have a look at your shot. Blocking 
Okay, so how did you feel in that moment? Oh man, that was, that was awesome. That was awesome. I mean, you know, I usually shoot big elks, big animals. We're always chasing that big buck, right? But uh, uh, when I saw that though, uh, coming in like 50 yards, for some reason my heart started pumping like yep. crazy. <laughs> and I was like, what, what happens, what's happening right now? <laughs> but yeah. Especially with this so, gun, you know? Yeah, so. Uh, the good thing I took the the time and and was waiting the whole time just to get the perfect shot. So yeah, it it is it, worse. Yeah, I mean, waiting all the time because initially it pops. It was like 117 yards away, I think. Yep. So I was using my laser rangefinder and we were kind of you know keeping tabs on these deer. And every time I would I would laser them, they would get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. And we sat there for probably a good 40 minutes. At least. It took yeah. them 40 minutes yeah. or so to come in. So we're having to watch these things painstakingly thinking, oh man, are they going to come in? And it's such uh, suspense to sit there and everything. So we shot our doe. Okay, everything's looking good. She went right down, very humane shot, instant incapacitation. I mean, I was so happy and stoked uh, to see that happen. All right, we had a buck come in. Now it's not what you're thinking though. Okay, so I wanna show you a little bit of what this buck was doing. It's just crazy. So he came in and it's still kind of early in the year right now. And, and a lot of people saying, oh, well the deer aren't chasing this early in the year. It's not cold enough. That the, really surprised The me. deer are chasing. Okay. Yeah. So what did you think about that? Yeah, it, it actually surprised me. I was like, actually asking you, what? I know. Can't, can't believe it. I mean, just too early. I've never right. seen a buck do that. I mean, well, I've seen bucks chase a live doe, but I've never seen a buck come into a doe on the ground and go, hey, baby, uh, <laughs> well, you can lay down, but just <laughs> stay there for a minute, you know, and you could tell that was, he was in the mood there. And uh, of course, we let, we let that four point buck walk. You're right. But before we did, what happened? We yelled at him, remember? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, it was, I mean, he was so concentrated on his thing that All right, so he didn't care about anything. I wanna <laughs> demonstrate to you guys how this buck reacted. All right, so we're gonna go from when we just barely whispered, like first you blew at him, yeah. then I whistled, then we started to actually yell at the deer. So check this out. You think we should deliver the bad news? Dude, I've never seen a deer do that. Look at that. I mean, look at this footage, man. Yeah. Hi, man. Get. What? I said get. Wow. I'm telling you to get. <laughs> Finally. <laughs>
All right, so we were finally able to get the buck to run away. All right, we went in the stand the following evening into a short plot that I haven't hunted in quite a while. Uh, on that particular evening, we didn't see anything come in. Uh, we had Ernest from FX in another stand. Uh, he didn't have any luck. Uh, we had Rick from Shooter uh, 1721 on the sewer line down here on the property and he saw a 12 point buck Ooh. that he could not get a shot at and he saw a piebald doe on the property that we've been seeing wow. here for about three years. Wow, that's, so, that's something unique right yeah. there. Yeah. She came in about maybe 100, 110 yards away and he didn't really feel comfortable taking the shot uh, in that particular location. So this evening, David and I are gonna go down there and yep. we've moved our blind to a very strategic location so how do you feel about the spot we're in tonight? Oh man, I'm, I'm like 99.9 .9 sure that we're gonna get it right there. Yeah, because why? Because I, we're sure now that they're chasing those. Yeah. All right, so the verdict's think, in. Yeah. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna get a shot in there. Okay. So I'm sure. you get a little bit of both in this video this time. All right. So you've got a little bit of something that's already happened, and we don't know what's gonna happen this evening. So we're gonna get in the woods and we will report back what, Absolutely. We, what happens. All right, David. We gave it our best on this last stand, man. We snuck in. We got Ernest out there with us. Got out there. I think we did a great job of sneaking in, nice and quiet. I think maybe just you know for the size of the property we're hunting, maybe we've just been overpressuring the deer a little bit over the last few days. You're right. Yeah. I think uh, the, the buck went and told all of his buddies what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we tried, and that's yeah. the thing. Uh, it is always unpredictable, but. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, we, we can make it happen later on. Oh man. Honestly, we're not, yeah. We're going to, we're going yeah. to. I really appreciate you coming out to hang out with me and do some filming with me. And, you know, I'm glad you got you a deer. That was so exciting. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I was happy to film it. And I, I know you were really thanks happy. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks yeah. for having us here and yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, anytime, man. Ernest. Next time. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely want to thank these guys for coming out and hanging out with us. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love hunting content and seriously, you have to check out David's channel. Uh, if you're into hunting content, he is the man. He's got the best hunting content on YouTube, bar none by far. All right, man. Thanks. Absolutely. So you guys have a good one. Good one.